barely hours after landing in the country and it was down to business, sharing her thoughts about what needs to be done to change the world for the better. And she didn't mince her words on the current political instability on the continent. Southern Africa is one of the luckiest parts of the world. We have risen from our difficult past. We are a post-conflict region. We have peace, but the quality of our peace still has to improve and to be deepened. We must take advantage of the fact that we are not in battle. We are not Colombia, where the government and the fuck fighters have to battle for peace by shooting at each other. We must be thankful that we are not in Iraq, where ISIS and the people of Iraq live in a country and a place where guns never stop. We are not in Syria, where there is mayhem. Old people, young people, women working, waiting to give birth have nowhere to go because hospitals have been shot at. We are not part of the tragedy of South Sudan that breaks all our hearts. We are not in CAR where a person is killed because they are a Muslim or they are a Christian. And we are not in the unfolding crisis of Burundi. But all of these are our problem because these are our people no matter where they are. The battle against Boko Haram in Nigeria also still has to be won, and the girls still need to be found. So if you look at all these situations and you think about how lucky we are to be in Southern Africa, we owe ourselves and the world to do much better. To take advantage of the space that the people like Mampeta created for us. She was hard on leaders who pay lip service to gender equality. But globally, after Beijing, we, we, in 1995, the representation of women uh, parla parliamentarians, the global average was 11%. We are now only at 22%. But oh, 20 years later. So it means at this pace, it's going to take us about 50 years before we have gender parity in the world. It's not acceptable. We only have 20 women who are heads of states and heads of government in the world, combined. But I know queen up. <laughs> I can you tell me out of about 198 countries, there's only 20 women who can lead. All these guys are good. But <laughs> So we have got to address this thing. What does it mean to be a leader? What is this thing that women do not have that so few of them? To be a leader of a country, first thing in my list, you must have integrity. You must be honest. You must love the people more than you love yourself. The, the values of Mampeta. You must connect the small things with the big things so that when you stand up in a world stage to talk about a big project, it is because you are thinking about those people in the back and beyond whose needs you will address. You must be nice also. Be humble as a leader so that you are accessible to the people. Only 20 women are like that in the world. That's only... So we have got to address this issue of leadership and women in the world and in our own country. We should build a women's movement that does not say women in South Africa are not ready to lead. You are ready to lead. Nada. The former South African deputy president is expected to address the World Economic Forum in Cape Town next week. Sophie Mkwe, SABC News, Johannesburg.